Good Saturday evening to you. Jonathan Stacy here with your forecast. A nor'easter is moving in and you've likely felt it out there. You've seen the rain and you're starting to feel those breezes pick up and those are our main concerns really over the next 24 to 36 hours. Flooding rains mainly two to three inches but there are some areas that we'll see a lot more than that. We'll look at that closer in a moment. Then coastal winds we're expecting wind speeds anywhere from 25 miles per hour sustained and gusts up to 40, 45 miles per hour. Beach erosion along with coastal flooding during high tide is also a concern. How much rain will we squeeze out of the system by midnight on Sunday going into Monday morning? It looks like the main focus will be Southern Duval County all the way through St. John's County Flagler County and parts of Putnam County getting in on some heavy rain. I'll also include Clay County in that as well. We're looking at anywhere from three to five inches of rain in that immediate area as those storms continue to move inland offshore. Also, wind gust is a major concern. We're looking at wind gusts along the shore. Now, these are isolated pockets of wind up to 45, maybe even 50 miles per hour as we go through Sunday morning going into Sunday afternoon. As a result of that, wind damage is a concern, and one of the main concerns is power outages. Power outages could be a problem, especially for St. John's County going into Flagler County, even going down as far south as Volusia County. We'll continue to update you on the status of this nor'easter and provide you with information to keep you and your family safe throughout the day.